Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave is here, and I am cheap. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I'd like to welcome you back to my 2013 Year in Review. I had a really odd 2013, so I am presenting you an odd set of awards in lieu of a standard top 10 list. Frankly, I don't know if I even played 10 games to completion this year at all. As always, when we humans rank things, we use our own subjective perspective to do so, and that might not line up with your particular thoughts or feelings. So if you're not seeing your favorite this or that on my lists, well, probably I didn't play it, or maybe I just hated it. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get to the award. The best game you didn't play in 2013. Now, considering the fact that the list of games I actually played in 2013 probably pales in comparison to yours, and it certainly lacks every major AAA title that was released this year, who do I think I am trying to tell you about games you didn't play? Well, in my position, I do have the opportunity to play some interesting games that often get overlooked. I'm not talking about small bite-sized indie games or game jam games or free games. There's a time and a place to talk about those, and I don't really think this is it. I want to use this moment to talk about some middle-of-the-road games that you can purchase right now, easily on Steam, that'll give you a lot of fun and value for money in games that nobody's playing, at least not according to my friends list. First up, I want to spotlight Poof versus The Cursed Kitty. This game comes to us from Arkito, the guys who brought you Hell Yeah, which was a wonderful platformer from 2012. This game is a mix of Mario Brothers, and I do mean Mario Brothers, no super on that, and Tower Defense. You have a multi-tiered stage, and you have various points where you can place helpful towers. You have a cascade of enemies all coming after your cursed kitty. Keep the kitty alive in order to make money, money, money. And then, I don't know, you've got a lot of money. But it's a really, really fun yet simple game that gets extremely hardcore the further you go. The controls are really tight, the art is amazing, the game has a good sense of humor. It's just really fun from top to bottom, and I know absolutely nobody who actually owns this game. The other game that I want to highlight from 2013 is a game I've already evangelized for in the form of a first impressions video and that is Super Splatters. If you want to know my genuine feelings about this, the place to find those is in my first impressions video that I did earlier this year. To sum it up, this is a wonderful puzzle game that I think went largely overlooked in its PC release. It has great leaderboards, it has great puzzle mechanics, it's a wonderful game from top to bottom, a very interesting graphic style, a little bit of the swapper in there, some found object type stuff going on, colorful, wonderful sense of humor. I love this game from top to bottom. Go take a look at it, Super Splatters. Now, Poof and Super Splatters get my highest recommendation. They are my best game you didn't play in 2013, but I'll drop a couple of honorable mentions on you on the way out the door. First up, Tetrobot and Company, continuing the saga of the Tetrobot that started in Blocks That Matter. Let me also direct your attention to Super Ubi Land, a great 2D platformer with a wonderful art style and fantastic music that you just might hear about again in another award. And my final honorable mention will go to another game that I played on the channel this year, and that is Bionic Dudes. I think Arkin really hit a home run with this futuristic roguelike strategy game, but for some reason it didn't catch on with audiences. Now Arkin does make niche games that don't often fit in with the mainstream, but I found this game really approachable and a lot of fun. These are just an example of some of the games out there that are lurking behind the scenes that you haven't discovered yet. Keep an eye out for them. These are the games you should be buying in sales. These are the games you should be seeking out if they're not on Steam. These are the games that you should be playing. These are the best games that you didn't play in 2013. If you'd like to tell me about some of the best games I didn't play in 2013, please feel free to do so in the comments below. Otherwise, hang out here for more year in review silliness. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.